Alright, so this video is going to teach you how to taper off of an opiate without actually having to go on Suboxone and pretty much not have withdrawal problems. Um, but like I said, you use Suboxone, but you're not going on Suboxone. This is what I call Dan's method. So, before I start, I have to mention to people, you've heard of interdose withdrawal symptoms while you're tapering. So, that means when you're dropping your dose, you're going to feel really uncomfortable and it sucks, you know what I mean? Well, you've heard of the Bernice method. <clears throat> I'm sure you have, obviously. So, from what I've said in my other videos about the Bernice method, you're going to do that while reducing your opioid or opiate, whatever you're using, reducing that amount. So, you know, if, say for like the first few days, you know, you're on sort of your same regular dose schedule with your opiate, okay, but you start the 0.25s three times, two times a day, whatever, and the 0.5, yada, 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 yada. Um, and then you proceed with the Bernice method. You can honestly do this for weeks if you have enough subs, you know what I mean? So, like, you know, do 0.25 for four days straight, you know what I mean? And then 0.5 for another four days straight, and then uh, one milligram. I would say, honestly, you could stop this just at one milligram. That's enough to cover the interdose withdrawals while you taper off of your opiate. You know what I mean? It's enough to cover it because interdose withdrawals doesn't mean full-blown withdrawals, cold turkey. It means some withdrawal symptoms that come when you're tapering off of an opiate. So, you do your Bernice method, and you're going down with your opiate of choice. Now, eventually, let's say you're doing a bun a day of fentanyl or heroin or whatever the fucking hell you're doing. What are you looking at? Um, you're reducing down. So now let's say you go from 10 bags a day. And then, you know, after doing the Bernice method, for, after four days of doing the Bernice method, you're comfortable with eight bags a day. And then the next week after that, you're at 0.5, which is up in the, the buprenorphine, which is going to cover more of the interdose withdrawal symptoms. And then you can go down to, let's say, six bags a day. To be honest, however many you feel comfortable dropping, to be honest with you, whatever's comfortable for you. Some people can go from 10 bags a day to five with no problem. It's always that last dose that gets you. But the key here is you're reducing your opiate dose while going up on the buprenorphine to, let's say, about one milligram. And then eventually after, let's say, a month of doing this, you're down to like one, two bags a day. And then after you're on two bags a day, you can get down to one bag. And you should be able to get down to one bag a day, no problem, and then be on one milligram of Suboxone to cover the interdose withdrawal symptoms. And when you're on that one bag a day now, you've already... And while the interdose withdrawal is technically occurring, it's getting covered by the little bit of buprenorphine that you have in your body. So you are releasing more opiates from your system. You are tapering successfully. You are dropping your tolerance, which you have to be careful with, but the protection of the buprenorphine means you won't really feel the, the high as much. A little bit, because it's only on one milligram of buprenorphine, you're maxing out. But, you know what I mean? You're, just, you're dropping that opiate dose. So eventually, you get to that one bag a day, get down to a half a bag. And do that for a whole week, half a bag a day. Just one bag every two days. And then if you can go down to a sprinkle, do that. And then what you want to do is, you're not really on that high of a dose of buprenorphine. You can either stop the buprenorphine and cold turkey all the opiates, or 
stay on that tiny little bit of buprenorphine because the withdrawals that you're going to have from the opiate are not going to be that heavy at this point because you've now tapered off. So that one milligram might save your life and you can jump off cold turkey and not have any problems. That is what I call dance method. I've never heard of that in the medical field. When they taper patients all the time, they don't use buprenorphine for tapering reasons. They use it to get them off completely. Well, here, you're still getting off completely, but you're doing it comfortably.